Hello there, and welcome to episode 270 of my series, where I try to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, I aim to play the maps of each and every single one on Norway's 356 communes to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each. Today we are in the commune of Øvre Eiker, the, the Upper Oaks. And I guess there might have been some extensive oak tree forests here back in the day. You will still find oaks here. So this is located a couple of hours outside Oslo, hour and a half, I guess, and also uh, close to the city of Drammen. It sits on the dreaded E134 as well on the, as the 350, and I've been stuck in traffic jams on both in recent years. Actually, I think last summer even. Uh, extends down to the Lake of Akern, and there's the Drammen River running through the place. Main places to find people is the town of Hoxun and the villages of Skots, Skotselv and Westfossen as well as Darbu and as we can see there's a lot of side roads here so I think I will have my work card out so yeah this could be an interesting one and I don't really know much about the place I just know that Westfossen has a manor and that is pretty much it so let's have a look at the fact sheet and then we will play over the Eiker. Approaching this one with a bit of trepidation because I don't really know the area well. The Long Ors Road, not a long ass road, but a long hill road. And the Lurdal Road, okay, so the Lurd Valley Road. And that's a private road, alright. So, should we go south? Should we go north? Um, mm -hmm. So, I guess we are somewhere on these roads so it was the Ludal road and what was the other one again it was a long horse road wasn't it mm, let's see for a moment i thought it said the bermuda, bermuda triangle road but of course it's not mm, could we be let's see so it's got self and Okay, I think you can get pretty lost on these roads. So I think we want to hold off the looking around randomly for a bit. Let's go south. Mm. And my neighbor's dog is having a Napoleon complex moment. No. Okay, we got some houses here. And of course, I won't get any help from finding numbers on the little white signs here, given that all the roads here appear to have names. Okay, there's a little lake. That could be helpful. Like, could we be like, for instance, over here? No, we checked that already, didn't we? So, how about over here? No. The road still has, doesn't have the right name. That doesn't have to mean anything either, because... I mean, they could have changed the names of the roads as well. Hmm. So, probably not up here. Nope. And if we go up here, we come into the next commune, so that's... Oh, duh. Here we are. The Lurdal Road. Let's see if we can find the Long Oz Road. Here's the Long Oz Road, right. And we're standing right next to the crossroads. Well, that's handy. There are places there. Good. 
little faffy, but uh, got there in the end. This must be an access road to the 134 odd 500. Sorry, the 350. It's an access road to Dadebu, so this must be coming off the E134 when approaching Dadebu. So we're coming down on one of these roundabouts, aren't we? Looking southwest. So let's see if we're driving to Dadebu, we should be coming down on that one. In which direction did this was? But this says that Dajbu is to the south. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that makes sense. So, um, yeah, so we are somewhere here. Hmm. How far are we away from? Roundabout. Are we still on the bend? No, the bend has ended. Question is, are we here? That's like 20 meters away from the roundabout. How many lamp posts are we away? Or even better, these guys. Hmm. I think I'll go with that. Ooh, thank you. Hmm, interesting little area. Let's see, this is going northwest, so just gonna see if there's any information here. No, not really. Crossing a stream. Okay, I'm going around a number of tiny bends. And Let's see, a very agricultural area, and people keeping, keeping fit, I could do with some of that, and uh, whoa, this road will go on for a bit, and now we got that weird thing where it slows down again. Can't really tell why it does that. It's just so awkward when it does. Nothing works as it is supposed to be doing. Okay, so that's a long barn. Fairly extensive farm up there. And it is harvest time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh God, we're five kilometers away from wherever this road starts. Hooey. Jeez oh, Louise. We could be anywhere. Quite literally. And if this is gonna persist, oh, thank goodness we get sort of Unlocked itself. Oh dear. Okay, we just have to press on and see if we can find any sort of information. It's a bit of a river. And houses. Crossroads. Wow. Oh, we're at Stain Street. Okay, this should be possible to find. Four kilometers away from Scottself. So Scottself is up here. And could this be the halt the road? Let's see, it leads over to Bingen Chapel. And where are, so are we here? So could this be the, um, let's see. But we are at Steinsrud, not at Bingen, but, no, not, sorry, not Bingen, but at least the road does the right things here. No, except, that this is the road that leads to Bingen. 
Oh wait, no. So we're four kilometers away from Scottsdale. And we're sitting on a river. But I don't think the West Pier. Okay, so this is the road. Okay, so we're looking in the right place. Mm hmm. That must have been a large farm we were looking at uh, to begin with. So, does that mean we were on this bend or on that bend? So, we did cross a stream, which I think must have been this one. So, we are on this bit of road then, if I'm right. And I think I am because we got this slight bend here as well. And let's see, we are pretty much where this bend starts. We're about here ish, I'd say. Because the bend hasn't yet started here. Ooh, I'm gonna go with that. Noise. Okay. Another road in the outback, and we are right. So we are on the border between the regions and between Holmestran, which we were in not that long ago, and we're on the 35. Right, this should be locatable. So that's down here. So this is the bridge we just crossed. And we are looking straight up this road. Cool. Final round. Could be tricky. Coming up the crossroads. What does it say on top of this thing? Okay, so here we are crossing into what was near the Eiker, so Lower Oaks, which used to be this area. So I guess that means we might be coming up to one of these junctions here. Let's see, we go northeast, that fits. Let's see, we are at a place called Nedberg. That makes good sense. Three kilometers to Mjöndal. Yes. Four kilometers to Langebru, which is a bridge somewhere. And this road goes to Westfossen, yep, which is down here. Given that this is called Nedberg Kolvein, I would strongly think that we are here. Now, the one thing, let's see, so we've got that access road over there. We've got a house here, got a barn. Hmm. Let's have a little look to the side here. So we got, that must be that one. Something missing here. That must be that one. So I'm gonna make, no, I don't want to make any assumptions here. So we have just started this bend. And I want to say that we're about here. I will not be missing my 20 meters here. That's absolutely out of the question. No, I'm not. So, let's see, how far are we from? That's 6, 12, 18. We're about 25 meters away. So yeah, I might actually pull it even further up, but I should be within, which I was, and I'm glad I didn't pull it the other way. That was a nice and quick round of over the Aiken, and it's just a shame we don't get to see the, uh, the, uh, the towns and villages. Well, I really want to see those. We do get to see a lot of wilderness, and that was, was so close to Kongsberg. Wow. Okay, but yeah, we did get to see the outback at least, and it was a very quick playthrough, 35 seconds on one location, that's nice. So yeah, that is Over the Aked done, and episode 270.
check in tomorrow for episode 271. Until then, bye-bye.